Welcome guys, this is Technology Made Basic. In this tutorial we're going to discuss the notification area on the taskbar uh, just real briefly. And what the notification area contains is your clock, your calendar, it also has your volume, your um, network settings, your action area, and just some sh uh, icons that may be actually hidden. So the notification area in the taskbar is going to be on the bottom right of your screen. And what we're going to start with is your clock and calendar. Uh, of course, this on the bottom right will tell you what time it is right now. It'll tell you what date it is. Uh, but let's just say that's giving you the wrong time, or maybe you didn't want it to tell you that time and date. Maybe you wanted to change it. Uh, let's go ahead and do a left click over that, that uh, area there. And what we want, as you can see, it brings up a calendar. Let's just let us lets us know what day it is. We can move uh, forward and backwards with that calendar if we wanted to. It also shows us, uh, shows us the uh, current time right now. So if we go ahead and click on change date and time settings all uh, with a do a left click there. And as you can see, now we have the options here to go ahead and change our time zone. Uh, we have the options to change our date and time if it's incorrect. Uh, we even have an option up here to add an additional clock. Let's just say we wanted to know the time of some other certain area, maybe another part of the country, maybe a whole other country. Uh, what we can do is click, do a left click where it says show this clock. And we're going to pick that specific time zone to the, to this, to the area of the country, uh, whether it's the United States or even a whole different country. Let's just, for this sake of this uh, clock here, let's, let's just pick uh, somewhere else. Uh, what do we want to pick? We have all these strange places I've never heard of. But let's just go ahead and pick the last one on the list, Samoa. And now it wants us to enter a display name. Uh, we can keep it clock one, or let's just change it to Sam, just to make it a little bit better. Hit apply, hit OK to uh, do that. And the way we access that additional clock in our current clock is we take our pointer and hover over the time. As you can see, it gives us our local time, which is currently 10.55 .50, AM on a Saturday. And then it also gives us uh, the Samoa time, which is 3.55 a.m. on a Sunday, so hopefully those those people living in that part of the world are asleep or just having a really good time right now. But either way, well, let's just do a left click, change time and set, and set. As, you, as you can see that second clock is also there when we do a left click over the, uh, the calendar and the time. So let's go back into change date and time settings. And again, uh, we can change our time zone also if it's incorrect. Right now I'm in the eastern part of the country. But you can change it to you know central, uh, mountain time, all those other times, uh, western, um, whatever you want to change it to, whatever whatever it pertains to where you are you're located. And uh, again, if we click on here where it says change date and time because it's maybe incorrect, this allows us to go ahead and change our clock manually here, and also change our calendar to the to the correct uh, date and to the correct time. Right now it's set correctly, so we're not going to change that. But if it wasn't, you can also go, if you're connected to the internet, up here to this tab where it says internet time, go to change settings, and as long as you're connected to the internet, it's going to synchronize your time with uh, an internet time server, and you have def different um, websites that it can actually synchronize with, and the first one is, also, is always usually going to be time.windows.com, so you can go ahead and just click up, update now. And as long as you're connected to the internet, it should automatically update your clock. But if that doesn't work, because sometimes you may get an error for some reason, uh, like I said, go back to the date and time tab and click on date and time. And as you can see, you can manually go ahead and make those uh, settings there. And if we go under change calendar settings, we can also change the format of the calendar here. So uh, I just want to show you that that's another option if you wanted to change the format. Or you can just reset it back to uh, factory. Let's just cancel out of there. And cancel out of here. So that's that's our clock. Let's just go ahead and take out that additional clock because I don't want to know the time right now for that location. So click OK. As you can see if we hover over, now it's just going to give us our time and it's just going to give us, it's not going to give us that additional clock. But what we also have in the notification area will typically be our volume icon where we can adjust our volume up and down or mute. We can also go into the mixer here to adjust uh, several different things. And if we do a left click on network, that uh, gives us our network options there and what network we're connected to and even the name of the network itself. But if we do a right click and we can troubleshoot the problems if we're having a problem with an internet connection issue or we can go to open network and sharing center, which gives us more options to go ahead and troubleshoot our network connection if we're having issues. So 
So let's just close that. And the other area that's typically there is the Action Center. And this does quite a bit. If we do a left click over Action Center and say Open Action Center, this basically lets us know about any problems and, and possible solutions if we're having an issue with the computer. Now, if we go under Security, as you can see, it lets us know uh, whether we have a network firewall and it's on, Windows updates are on, virus protection is on, spyware now once it's off, our protection is on, so on and so forth. So it lets us know quite a bit of information under the, C, uh, the security. But if we go ahead and minimize that and maximize the maintenance, this uh, lets us know, basically this will let us check for different solutions to different problems if we're having any. This will also, um, we have different maintenance options we can go to here. We can view the home group settings if we have a network set up, or right now I have it um, set as a, I don't have one set up. And also file history. So I have file history off, that just means that, that my computer is not going to keep the history of anything that I do a search for, and but I can turn it on. So you have a lot of options under maintenance, you have a lot of options here in the left side pane. And we're going to go over some of these options in future tutorials, but I just wanted you to see what the action center was. So let's go ahead and close that out. And some of you also may have this little triangle here where you have hidden icons. If you do a left click over that, it's going to show you some of the programs that are running on your computer, or you may have a USB device attached like I do at the moment. And you can go ahead and let's say if I wanted to unattach that device, I can do a right click over it and click eject. That way I can safely remove it from my computer instead of just pulling it out. Um, but it but it shows other icons that are other things other other programs that are running. It just what it does is kind of uh, compresses them here in this area. That way they're not just spread all the, all here in that notification area. So that's what I wanted to show you briefly, just what that notification area is. And if you know if you're familiar with XP, with Windows Vista, with Windows 7, you're probably very familiar with that part of the uh, computer. But it's also good to know where you can change your your time and your calendar settings in case you have that incorrectly, or maybe you wanted to add another clock. But that does conclude this tutorial. I do thank you guys for watching, and I appreciate your time.